Hey guys, what's up? Um, I figured I'll start doing um kind of mini blog video posts uh, here in the forums just because uh, it's just kind of a fun way for me to communicate with you guys about what I'm currently into as far as music, uh, what I'm working on as far as guitar stuff goes and projects. Uh, so, um, today I figured I would talk a little bit about pick angle when it comes uh, specifically to um, heavier styles of music like hard rock and uh, metal rhythm stuff. Um, uh, for if you can't see, um, man, I uh, totally just lacerated my finger. Um, I'm really into knives and sharpening and stuff, and I cut my finger last night, so I have two stitches. So <laughs> in this little thing, I'm not going to be able to do anything with my uh, left hand, pretty much. But that's okay. It's about uh, pick angle anyway. So um, just real quick, what I'm talking about. Typically, when I'm playing heavy stuff like this, I have my pick pointed down at a downward angle like that, just because that's the way I pick notes too. So, you know, that's just kind of a natural uh, thing that I've developed over, you know, however long I've been playing. Um, I've kind of always noticed that I get a little bit better sound, a little bit more aggressive attack and a better sound uh, for really heavy rhythm stuff when I angle my pick up like this. And um, I've always kind of fought it because I was like, oh, that's not proper technique or whatever. Or it changes, you know, I have to change from the way I normally pick as far as lead stuff to um, that uh, grip that's pointing up instead of down. Um, and I'm doing a project right now that's um, a lot of metal. It's a lot of really heavy music, so I have to get a really good sound. And there's a lot of really intricate, uh, fast, heavy rhythm parts. So I was going over these and writing them. And um, I was noticing that I just, like I said, I just get a better sound when my pick's angled up like that. And, um, you know, immediately when I started thinking about that, I started thinking of Sean Lane. And he was a guitar player who always had his pick angled up, right? And who am I? If you know about Sean Lane, he is just one of the best guitar players technically to ever live, in my opinion, in a lot of people's opinions, right? Um, and who am I to say that <laughs> that technique is wrong for him? And it worked so awesome for him. So, um, lately... Uh, like I said, on heavier stuff, just stuff like this, you know. I've been using an, an upward pick angle instead of a downward pick angle, which I have to, um, like if I'm going, playing something like that rhythm, then I have to go back to a lead or a line or something, I have to switch back to a downward pick um, angle. Which, it's kind of a pain right now, but I'm starting to get used to swapping back and forth. And um, it's actually making me think about switching my pick angle just in general from uh, downward like this to upward like that all the time on everything. But that's going to take a while to um, make the transition. If I do it, I don't know if I am, but it's going to be something I'm going to be experimenting with in the, over the next several months. So um, I guess the point of this video is uh, it's just a little tip. Try to experiment with that angle when you're playing heavy rhythm stuff. Play like you normally would if you have a normal downward angle, which most people do, right? Especially if you're um, a beginner or intermediate guitar player, you're just going to be... Um, parallel with the string so the angle is going to be down, right? So, like that. Try going up like that and see if it doesn't give you a bit more of aggressive sound. It's a little bit easier to get perfect palm muting right there and it's just um, a little bit easier I find it to get actually through the strings. I can relax to the point where the pick's almost going to fly out of my hand. Instead, um, when I have a downward angle, I, have, I feel like I have, it's a bit harder to get through the strings. So that's uh, just one advantage of it. Um, regardless, uh, you know, you may hate it, you may love it, uh, but experiment with it and see if you like it. Um, be careful with your knives when you're shopping. Other than that, guys, I'll see you next time.